Weber Genesis 2 and Weber Genesis 2 LX models. Easily one of the biggest questions and easily misunderstood segments of the Weber business. So we're hoping we can make some heads and tails of it for you and really help you make a great buying decision. Rick, help me here. Okay, to the left we have the Weber Genesis 2 and the 2LX over here. We're, st we're price points here somewhere between $699 um, all the way up to $12.99, and over here we're at $8.99 to $19.99. So I'm already confused. Help me make a little sense of this. Sure, absolutely. So we're gonna start from the top. Let's start with the handles. As soon as you look at the LX, you're gonna notice kind of bare bones, basic handle. The LX model is gonna have an upgraded handle with the LED handle light attached to it. How many times have you worked in your own shadow when you're trying to grill and you know you're holding up a cell phone light or wearing one of those goofy headlight bands that you got as a stocking stuffer and you completely forgot about. So that's gonna solve that problem right there. As we go down, you're actually gonna notice new and improved and this is shared. The rack system here where you're gonna keep maybe your hot dogs and buns, that can actually be folded and tucked away if that gets in the way, if you have something really tall. Maybe you wanna cook a turkey you know, in your grill. By the way, you can do that. Um, as we go down to the insides of both grills, you're gonna notice that the LX is gonna have porcelain coated grates and porcelain coated flavorizer bars. Now, why is that a problem or why is that a good thing? Well, the flavorizer bars being porcelain coated, just like the grates, can chip, flake, or rust. And Weber really decided to address that issue in the LX model when you upgrade. So having the stainless steel flavorizer bars, they're not gonna chip, they're not gonna flake. And if they do rust, they're a lot easier to keep clean. You're also gonna notice that the burner here is tapered on both of them. That way you can actually tell that their burners are on. Now, let's talk about their burner. Both models actually have a new ignition system, meaning each burner has its own igniter. When you look at regular stoves versus high-end stoves, Wolf, they're gonna have their own ignition system because longevity-wise, they're gonna last longer. So the old Weber grill systems used to have a shared ignition system and it created create a lot of stress on the igniters themselves. Now, when we go to the actual knobs between the two, you're gonna notice that the LX has your basic knobs with your igniter here in the front. When we get to the LX, the LX is actually gonna have an independent button for backlit knobs. So another cool feature, again, if you're working in the dark, this grill is for you. Each burner is actually gonna have its own igniter built into it, so you're not gonna have that one button. So single ignition and single igniter built right into it as well. They also improved the burners this year for both of them. They're actually tapered in the back. It's a new vertical tube design, which compared to the old one, you'd always have cold spots or hot spots because the burners were really uneven. So they have, they have addressed that this year with the new burner design, which I'm really excited for. Now, an uh, upgrade on the LX is each burner will have a thousand more BTUs. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you add up all those BTUs within each burner, that's really gonna give you a good chance for a very, very fast preheat. Although Weber does claim for a better sear, I have to say the benefit is really gonna be that super fast preheat heat. Now as we go down again, you're gonna notice that the regular model is an open bay design. Uh, very interesting design choice for them to do that this year. Uh, whereas I personally believe that the benefit of having the closed doors is a huge upgrade on the LX because I'm gonna keep the critters out. If you leave that drip pan overnight on the regular model, that's gonna get chewed up and thrown around your yard. Absolutely. They also decided this year to keep the tank on the outside rather than on the inside. So especially for the grill cart model in the LX, that's gonna provide more space for you easily. Okay. Rick, a couple of things I'm noticing on the front here. I'm noticing this indicator for for grill, grill, IQ, grill three. What, what is that all about? Great question. So new this year, 2007, you have the iGrill three. What that is, it's basically a digital thermometer. It's also Bluetooth enabled. How many times have you been at a party where you just see somebody really standing in front of the grill like this the whole time and everybody's laughing and you're like, what was that? Well, now with that new app, you don't have to do that because you can monitor up to four temperature probes the whole time and just walk away. Also, one thing I wanted to add to the LX series that adds from the base model, you now have a side burner. 
Side burner is going to allow you to do things like franks and beans, maybe some uh, hot boiling water if you're going to do some corn or something like that. All right, my last thing that I'm thinking I know drives me nuts. You've hit a lot of them here, certainly, and the LX has a lot of those features solved, problem solved. But from talking about the propane tank, I'm running out all the time halfway through, through grilling. Great question. So not a lot of people know this, but some of the models are actually available in natural gas, meaning you can pipe it to your existing gas line. Uh, and if you do happen to be running out, buy two tanks for sure. But if you can go uh, natural gas over liquid propane, that is a feature. So that will be specific to certain models. And even indicators telling you where they're actually at in the propane. Absolutely. Introduced yep. So the LX model now has an LED indicator. That way you're taking out the guesswork of when you're running out instead of having to weigh it yourself. Well, hopefully this segment has started to give you some of the understanding of the things and questions you can come armed with. Start thinking of them before you get here. It certainly will help for a lot of great conversation. We'll really understand how you cook. And I think you're starting to understand the difference between the, the LX and the, and the base Genesis, Genesis 2 models, right? There's a lot of great features, a lot of solution solved here for those of us at Grill. And I'm really excited. 2017 is going to be a great grill season here at Yale. We thank you for spending the time with us and look forward to seeing you soon.